Hello friends, let us now learn about the capillaries. Capillaries are small network of microscopic endothelial tubes. Okay, these are microscopic endothelial tubes and they contain single layer of endothelium. Okay, and these capillaries are around, the, the, there are two capillaries. The two capillaries begin after the transition zone of 50 to 100 microns beyond the pre-capillary sphincters. Now, in these capillaries, in some areas, they are replaced by cavernous spaces. The areas where capillaries are replaced by cavernous spaces. Cavernous spaces are nothing but dilated spaces. Okay, these include sex organs, splenic pulp and placenta. In sex organs, splenic pulp and placenta, capillaries are replaced by cavernous spaces. Okay, the diameter of capillary is 6 to 8 microns. Right. Because the diameter of capillary is 6 to 8 microns, they permit red blood cells to pass one by one as a single file. There are some areas where the capillary's diameter is smallest, which is in brain and intestine. In brain and intestine, the capillary's diameter is smallest, whereas the capillaries are largest with 20 microns in size, in size in skin and bone marrow. In skin and bone marrow, the capillaries are largest, that is 20 microns in size. Then, the types of capillaries are, we have two different types of capillaries. See, in continuous capillaries, they will, there is continuous endothelium which is present in this continuous capillaries. In fenestrated capillaries, there are some holes, okay, or some spaces in the capillaries. Okay, that is fenestrated capillaries, right? In continuous capillaries, this will allow smaller molecules to pass through, like 10 microns. It allows smaller molecules, like 10 microns size of particles to pass through. This continuous capillaries are present in skin, skeletal muscle, smooth muscle, lung and brain. Whereas, we have fenestrated capillaries which will allow larger molecules of 20 to 100 microns of diameter to pass through. And these fenestrated capillaries include renal glomeruli, intestinal mucosa, endocrine gland and pancreas. Right? Then, we also have something called as sinusoids. These sinusoids are similar to cavernous spaces. They are also dilated vascular. They are actually large vascular spaces. They are large irregular vascular spaces which are surrounded by the parenchyma of organ. These sinusoids are wider, irregular and they have thinner walls. And these thinner walls are sometimes incomplete. And these thinner walls are also lined by macrophages. I will just draw you a picture. So this is a sinusoid which has irregular and wider with thinner walls. Okay. And these thinner walls are actually incomplete. There is small holes in the thinner walls. Okay. Now. These sinusoids are surrounded by the parenchyma of the organ. Where are these sinusoids present? They are present in liver, spleen, bone marrow, adrenals, parathyroid and carotid body. They are present in liver, spleen, bone marrow, adrenals, parathyroid and carotid body. Then, so this is about capillaries. Thank you for watching my lecture. Thank you.